Scott, well done. A good win and a 140 break to finish. So you must be really pleased with how you wrapped that up. Yeah, I've been playing well recently in practice and even since the turn of the year. So to continue it against a good player, Peter, who, who looked like he was queuing well, um, is a great feather in the cap. And how, how do you feel that the, the, the season's gone? There's been that one quarter final, but you know, maybe <laughs> have you maybe not quite got the, the results in tournaments? It's just been think? very inconsistent this year. I've showed glimpses of my game, but it's never really come out, and especially losing in the UK Championships first round. I mean, that's really the only tournament that really matters so far this season. Um, I played OK in the Champion of Champions against Mark Allen, who ended up going on to win the event. Um, but it's better late than never to find your game. Yeah, and I suppose this is the perfect time of the season to, to find your game with the World Championship qualifiers sort of coming into sight now. Is that, I think for the whole tour, is that what you're sort of now all kind of gearing towards now? Yeah, I think everyone is using this tournament as maybe a bit of match practice for the World Championships. Uh, so what's next month, is it? So you've got the Pro Series, I'm not in that, and then the, the Tour Championship, obviously, and then the World Championship. So the next one for me will be the World Championships. So I'm just really using this, this bit of time to get some good, good games under my belt. And how, how confident do you feel ahead of those qualifiers? You've had a couple of interesting experiences over the last couple of years. That sort of thriller two years ago got to the last round last year as well. So ho hopefully... Yeah, and obviously okay. Anthony pulled out after he beat me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, it was funny because he played brilliant in that match. And then two days later, he pulled out the tournament. So it was a little, a little bit strange. But um, I'm just looking to try and continue my game because it's all about how well your opponent plays as well. I mean, snooker is not all about how well you play. You know, you, you may play brilliant and lose, so... All you can do is focus on your own your own game and how you're queuing. And away from Snooker, I've got to ask you about St Johnston at the weekend. As a proud St Johnston fan, you, you, you must have been delighted uh, with that winning the League absolutely Cup. Absolutely over the moon. For a team like St Johnston, with the financial difficulties we have, especially during uh, COVID, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, I don't think anyone really bats an eyelid at it, but when you see the financial difference between likes of us and Celtic and Rangers, it's, <laughs> it's massive. And for us to win two trophies in seven years, one achievement. Absolute delight for Calm Davidson. And it, it, I suppose the only shame was that you that weren't able to pr properly celebrate yeah. it. Yeah, I was there in 2014. We won the cup, and um, I was there for the for the celebrations and that. So, it, yeah, it's just gotten for the fans. But I'm actually mainly trying to encourage people to try and get to the, the home games during the league season because even though we've had so much success, the crowds never seem to go up. We've always seemed to get around 2,000 every week. And I think a lot, a lot of people going down to Glasgow and supporting Celtic and Rangers. So I just hope they can get behind their local team. And it was another big moment for Scottish sport uh, yesterday. And I was with Stephen Hendry come back. Did, did, did you watch that last night? I think everyone watched it, Roddy. Yeah. <laughs> and I, I, I suppose he showed, certainly showed flashes of yeah. his best for that I century. Break, I spoke to him before the match. He said he was, he was looking forward to it, but not looking forward to it at the same time. Um, so yeah, I mean, he played quite well, I thought. But Matt played really well himself. So I don't think Stephen can be that disappointed because Matt played well and like some Matt, if he plays well, it's going to be hard for anybody. Yeah, and I suppose that it, there were signs as well that you know he's obviously going to be throwing his hat in the ring for those World Championship qualifiers. And it's probably, you know, despite those nine years out, probably one that people will still be wanting to avoid. Oh, definitely, because under pressure, he's not going to buckle. That's not going to change. So it's all about how well he plays, really. And it doesn't matter the circumstances, you'll always play the same game, you'll score. And it just depends on how very good his safety is because the tour players down the rankings are a lot better than I think when he played. Uh, but you never know, you might do it.